Hey guys, this is Pesh from Bebom.com and let me start off by saying that I've always been an Android guy. For me, Android has always been better than iOS. But I recently tried out iOS 13 and I think there are some great iOS 13 features that I really, really want on Android. Now, before I talk about that, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Android Q finally brings a native system-wide dark mode and I love it. It's a true blue dark mode that looks really, really good. Now iOS 13 has followed suit and brought along a dark mode as well. And well, even the iOS 13 dark mode is a system-wide dark mode that looks super cool. But it has one feature that I want on Android and that is automatic dark mode. See, in iOS 13, you can set the dark mode to turn on automatically when the sun sets. You can even set it to turn on and off on a custom schedule. It's pretty awesome and it's something missing in Android Q. On Android, you have to enable the dark theme manually through the quick setting style or by enabling the battery saver. So yeah, automatic dark mode is something I really want on Android. The video editing capabilities of Google Photos on Android is fine. I mean, you can trim, stabilize and rotate the video, but that's pretty much it. Now look at the tools iOS 13's photo app offers. The app brings you the usual trimming and rotating features, but you can now enhance the videos by changing the exposure, highlights, shadows, contrast, brightness, you get the idea. That's not all, you can even add filters to your videos, making them look much better. Plus you can now crop the video, flip it if you want, straighten it and do a lot more it's really good and you know what if you don't like these changes you can always get your original video back like this unlike google photos where once you save the changes you cannot go back so this is truly awesome The ability to find lost or stolen devices has always been present in both android and ios but it's pretty limited I mean, on Android devices, the Find My Device feature only works if your device is connected to the internet. If it's not, it's practically useless. Well, iOS 13 brings the ability to find devices that are offline or even turned off. And this is one feature that should come to Android. We all need it. So with iOS 13 and macOS Catalina for that matter, Apple devices send out Bluetooth signals that can be picked up by other Apple devices out there to help you locate your device. Let me explain things simply. So say if you lose your iPhone, well, God forbid not, but say if you lose your iPhone. Well, nearby iPhones and MacBooks will make sure that you have the location of your lost iPhone through Bluetooth signals. So yeah, it's pretty awesome and there are no privacy concerns because all Bluetooth signals sent and received by Apple devices are end-to-end -end encrypted. Full page screenshots or scrolling screenshots as it is called on Android are super handy as they let you share more of what you want to share but Google plans to bring it natively only in Android R which is basically next year. And the solutions in other ROMs is fine but iOS 13 does things better and faster. With iOS 13 you can just take a screenshot, open it up and now if you want the screenshot of the whole page you can just select the full page option here and set the length of the screenshot. It's pretty simple. I certainly find it easier than the scrolling screenshots feature on Android. Plus you get so many varied tools to doodle on the screenshot, it's really cool. Now before I move on to the next iOS 13 feature, a huge shout out to Good Offer 24 our sponsors for this video. So Good Offer 24 brings some great deals on software. In fact right now Good Offer has deals on Windows 10 Pro where it's available for just $15 instead of $137. You can also get a Windows 10 Pro plus Office 2016 Pro bundle for just $45. Microsoft Office 2019 for just $71 instead of $664. Windows 10 Pro plus Office 2019 for just $76 instead of over $800. Yeah, those are some great deals and there's more. I'll drop links to all these deals in the description below. So go ahead and check out Good Offer 24 right now. Another iOS 13 feature that I want on Android is optimized battery charging. Look, thanks to the battery fiasco with previous iPhones, Apple now shows you detailed info on battery health in iOS, which is very useful. 
But with iOS 13, there's a new optimized battery charging feature which prolongs battery health. Let me explain. So battery at 100% capacity for too long is bad for the battery. So when we put our phone on charge at night, it's at 100% battery for hours which does age the battery quickly. Now this is where optimized battery charging is super handy. So with this feature turned on, when you put your iPhone to charge at night, it won't charge the phone to 100% straight away. It'll charge the phone to 80% first and then finish charging the remaining 20% just before you wake up. Thus making sure your iPhone's battery is not at 100% for a long, long time, which is great. Also, if you're wondering how it knows when you wake up, well, it does so by learning your charging routine. Android Q brings advanced accessibility features with improved voice recognition, new assistant features, live captions, and more. But iOS 13 brings one accessibility feature that every platform needs. Well, it's called voice control and, well, as the name suggests, this lets you control your iPhone completely with your voice. You just need to turn it on and now look at this. Open settings. Tap display and brightness. Tap automatic. Go home. Open notification center. Open control center. Tap screen recording. This is very useful. You don't need Siri and you don't need internet connectivity for this. And you can customize all the controls. Plus you can have voice controls with numbers or item names overlaying which makes it more convenient. Android brought digital well-being last year and Apple brought screen time last year. But this year, Apple made screen time better. Now, there's obviously new features like parental controls, limits based on contacts, yada yada. But there's one thing that I really like and that's the ability to set combined app limits. Let me give you an example. So, say if you want to spend a couple of hours daily gaming on your iPhone. Well, in iOS 13, you can create a combined limit for all the games in your iPhone. Now I know this feature was present in iOS, but now you can select the apps in a category. So maybe you want to set a limit on your social media and gaming to two hours. You can create a custom list to set a combined app limit. Handy, right? Well, those are some great iOS 13 features that I'd love to see on Android. Now there are some more like the great photo rating tools, Apple Arcade and more, but yeah, those are the major ones. Also, this does not really mean that iOS is better than Android. In fact, Android has a lot of great features that iOS really needs, but that's a topic for another time. Anyway, so how do you like this video? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.